What's up guys? Just rolled into Gold, the Mecca. We're gonna hit a shoulders and arms workout. It's our last day in LA before we head to Vegas tonight ahead of the expo. We're gonna get it done. We're gonna, you know, get a good pump on this morning. We'll check it out the our sister brand, ABB. This thing is like crazy. I've had like half of it. I don't even know if I can drink the rest because I'm already buzzing. <laughs> but uh, I think I'm gonna get a good pump in, uh, from this. So. so the workout we're gonna do today is more of a high volume style workout. If you do any sort of strength based work, like a DUP style program, which is the sort of stuff that I typically tend to do, shoulders and arms workout is, is just basically your, your typical accessory workout. So we're gonna go through some, uh, some bigger sort of free weight style movements to begin with and we'll pair it back towards uh, some machine based stuff at the end and, and make sure we get a good solid pump on. Let's go. Let's go. Do you know what time it is? Tell me do you know? Do you know what time it is? Tell me do you know? Do you know what time it is? Tell me do you know? Sun's out of here so we're doing now this is a good thing about like gold look we're out here just just hitting a workout outside such a different vibe from back home if you took your shirt off in the gym you'd have all sorts of people just going what are you doing? <laughs> Might as well take advantage of what we can. A slightly high rep range just to start. Get some blood into the muscle. I find partial reps. Not quite extending all the way. Just keeps the tension through the target muscle. Is that a titty ring? <laughs> out here are fantastic in the heat. <laughs> Doesn't get much better than this, training at LA at Golds, in the sun, no shirt on. Be wrong not to, right? As Aussies, we're like constantly trying to convert them over to kilos so that we know what we're actually lifting. Um, More often than not, we end up just going way too heavy <laughs> and failing right. badly. That's all right. You know, we're getting in there. It's an experience. It's uh, I know the math. I know the conversion, but you know, you just like 2.2 is a dodgy number. Shit. <laughs> we'll get there. All right, so we're gonna hit uh, a bit of a superset now. Um, you know, obviously, when you're doing uh, any accessory work or hitting a shoulders and arms session. It's good to track volume and, and aim to progressively increase that over time, but at the same time, I, I like to use it uh, to work, you know, work to our advantage. Let's burn some calories, have a bit of a more intense workout by adding in some supersets and, and getting a really good pump going. So we're gonna hit an Arnold press and superset it with uh, some rear delt flies. So I might go sort of eight to 10, slightly heavier Arnold presses, and then round it out with sort of uh, 12 to 15 uh, rear delt flies, all right? That's right. That's it. Just make sure I'm tipping out a jug of water at the top. Pass them out. Go on, three more. Yeah, I'm gonna use the bench to like steady myself here, so. See, I'm slowly contracting down, keeping that tension on. I don't have to lift it all the way up. It's just to an end point, it contracts, and down. Nick's style might be a little bit different, but he's trying to hit the same thing. He's trying to play all three heads on the way up and contract at the top and make sure his hands are inward tilting so that he can get that he can get that rear delt. Okay, 
go Jamie here. He just said, ah, oh, your shirt says no meat. He goes, I'm starving and this guy's shirt says no meat. And he asked me if I was a vegetarian. So Timor and backwards says no meat. <laughs> I'll take away my stay. <laughs> we started yet, girl, it's the basics. And you know my team so mean, we don't say shit. Blowing on the best man and we don't even pay shit. Well, you can erase it. All I do is ace it. Coming in the club and you see me going ape shit. I'm so low, man, I'm looking like I'm Asian. Girl, he's on my zip and they come under the cage. But something that you ain't ever seen so clean with a seam. I ain't even got to say it twice. So you know my team, I ain't even got to say it nice. I like your boy, my. So we're gonna get to the machine and we're gonna hit four full. Then we're gonna hit, we're gonna come down halfway to about eye height. We're gonna hit four, then from the bottom up to your eyes, four, and then four full reps to finish off. Basically, just to hit the different lifted points throughout your shoulders, keep that tension on, and really, um, really work those front delts. Uh, okay. You gonna like this one. Okay, I'm an ice man, I like ice man, I rock ice man, chillin' in Iceland, it's real bright and it look nice when I pull up all the kids be biting. I'm never letting my swag come down. Hey, looking this way, I'ma do it like night town. And I'm all up in her ear like baby it's going down. And hey, you humming my jam with baby D. I run, okay, it's not on the radio. My swag crazy though, and you ain't ready for a dude like me. I'm real highly, I'm real smiley, cause I got a bro. Looking just like Miley And I'm riding 24 Sitting real high G Fresh to death And yes, that's my hygiene Clean, I mean You couldn't be We're going to do a superset here It's basically A pyramid superset We're going to get Five side laterals One front raise So it's going to be Five, one Four, two Three, three Two, four One, five Okay So basically just switch it up It's a big, big, big pump coming up <laughs> Man, man, he crazy Putting out right low Shades in my eye, looking right there, that girl is mine. Your boss stay jock and that ain't no lie. You already know, riding off flows, riding low pros with a pain too. Okay, so done with shoulders. We're gonna hit some arms now. We're gonna superset biceps and triceps together. Really great way to get through a workout, much more time efficient. We're gonna start off with a seated incline bicep curl uh, and superset that with an overhead tricep extension. Okay, so probably start off a little bit heavier with the first couple exercises and then gradually increase that rep range, progressively decrease the, rate, the weight to make sure that we can still get some more, uh, some decent volume towards the end, of the end of the workout. Okay, so we're gonna hit an incline dumbbell curl to start. Really important to keep your head back on the bench so that you can really manipulate your angles and translate as much force through the bicep as possible. Let's give it a whirl. Keeping your head back makes it really hard to cheat. Negative to finish. Okay, I flow here and up, we in the house. Got holes in a place with open mouth. Put my money in the air, what I'm about. It's real funny how you stare, I sit on the couch. Like, we in the house. We in the house. Okay, we in the house. We in the house. Okay, we in the house. We in the house. Okay, we in a little bit different to our next door. Same principle, right? I just actually like to stand a little bit with up on the seat. Um, just gives it that motion and I feel I'm back a bit further. It gives me a little more control through, through my biceps, deeper reach and like the tension's on the whole time. So, same, same principle.
curl, do the double, followed by a uh, rope, rope cable push down. Okay, so, so the main thing nice is tight. changing the angle of our wrist to hit a different part of the arm. Uh, so we'll probably go slightly higher rep range this time. Uh, so push it out to sort of 10, 12, maybe even 15. See how we go. We pick some weights again. Our conversions are pretty terrible, so we play it by year, but we're, we're aiming to go a little bit more in terms of uh, in terms of volume. Now. Thanks very much for, uh, for watching. Stay tuned, guys. We'll see you in Vegas.